Black & Decker, new ideas in kitchen science. The Black & Decker 8-cup food processor. Slice, chop, shred, and grate all your favorites. A stainless steel slicing and shredding disc, as well as a stainless steel chopping blade, create powerful performance. 450 watts of power help handle the tough tasks. An electronic touchpad is easy to use and easy to clean. With stainless steel blades and a 450 watt motor, you won't need more than a gentle touch to process even the toughest ingredients. Removable parts are dishwasher safe for easy cleanup. The Black & Decker 8 cup food processor helps you create your kitchen concoction skillfully. Introducing the Breville Sous Chef, the all-in-one kitchen workhorse. The five and a half inch super wide chute is about three times larger than standard food processors. The mini bowl sits inside the extra large 16 cup processing bowl. Whenever you use any of the discs, make sure the spindle is in the correct position. The adjustable slicer should always be in the storage position when not using it, and it'll conceal the blade. This is the first adjustable slicer to have the versatility of 24 thickness control settings. The Zero setting slices super fine at 0.33 millimeter slices to a thick eight millimeter slice on eight. When you're slicing, check to make sure that the blade is at the 12 o'clock position as you don't want it directly beneath the chute. The small chute is ideal for carrots or leeks when you don't need a push up. The reversible shredding disc achieves both coarse and fine grating. For coarser shredding to make things like coleslaw, the larger holes should be facing up. In seconds, you'll have perfectly grated cabbage. For finer shredding, flip the disc and have the smaller holes facing up. The julienne disc is great to cut carrots and zucchini for salads. For shorter matchstick size vegetables, use the small feed chute and put them straight in. Use the french fry disc and you can fit a whole potato to make five inch french fries. Or for a new twist, try sweet potato. Be sure to not to apply too much pressure and just let it grab the potato. The emulsifying disc is used to whip and aerate ingredients such as cream, egg whites, milkshakes, and mayonnaise. The timer is handy to make recipes for the first time and you can monitor the time it takes and then program it in for the next time. The micro serrated S blade chops raw and cooked food to puree, chop and mince. For many processing tasks we recommend the pulse button so you can really control the size you want. For raw meat, chicken and fish cut them into one inch cubes and then use the start pause button to mince them. The kneading blade is great for pastry and bread and can easily handle large batches of dough. The mini bowl is ideal for time consuming prep chores like chopping garlic. To store there's a retractable cord that neatly sits in the heavy duty die cast base and you can lock the box and store it on its side. The Sous Chef brought to you by the Food Thinkers of Breville. Hi I'm Mary Rogers and this is the Cuisinart 13 cup elemental food processor.
and it also has a Dyson kit, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through all the parts that come with this fabulous food processor, and then I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy vinaigrette, and um, I'll show you a couple other tricks I have up my sleeve. So this is your main storage case. So in this main storage case, you have um, a multitude of items. The first being the large chopping and mixing blade in the front. The next, this is your dough blade to make things like pizza and pasta, items like that. This is your adapter stem, which is used with um, several of the items, the um, slicing and uh, shredding disc. And also this is your small chopping blade, which is used in the small work bowl. And then the last two items in this storage case, this is the reversible shredding disc. So one side is medium, the other side is fine. And then over here, this is your adjustable slicing disc. So you can see um, when it's in the closed, completely closed position, it's completely flat. But when I um, adjust it from one millimeter all the way up to seven, you can see how um, thick it gets there. So that's how you adjust the blade. We recommend that you would um, keep it completely fat, flat for storage. Just put this back in here. And the great thing about the storage case, it keeps everything safe, neat, tidy. It also has a little lock so that um, you don't have to worry about anybody getting in there that's not supposed to. So next, this is your um, small work bowl. I'm going to show you how to put that in in a few minutes. And this is your dicing kit and also it has its own self storage container. The top here is the flat cover, which can be used with um, the large work bowl. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. This is um, the cutting assembly for your dicing kit. And then this is the, um, the dicing grid. And then the dicing grid also comes with a cool little cleaning tool that when you're all done, if you have any remnants of food stuck in there, you just take this and you press it down and that helps you get um, all the um, ingredients out. Let's just put this back in here for a few minutes um, before we use it. So let's look at the main product. So um, this is your um, 13 cup work bowl. It has nice measure markings on the side. It has um, a rubberized touch pad in the front. So it has basically pulse, off, low, and high. This is your feed tube. And inside your feed tube, you have two other feed tubes. So you have the really large feed tube. Then you have also the um, medium sized feed tube and then the really small feed tube, which I'm going to actually show you how to use today. You just twist that and it locks it into place. The other thing that's nice too is you have a lock that will lock your feed tube so that you can't pull it out. So if you're doing anything in the bottom of the work bowl, you just pull out the lock, lock it in place, and it won't come out at all. And then when you're going to do any type of slicing and shredding, that needs to be pushed in because you want to be able to put the food into the feed tube. So let's look at some of the other... Um, features and benefits of this product. So this is your lid and inside the lid you'll see right here along the edge there's a black gasket and that's our seal tight advantage system that seals the bowl really tight so you won't get any spills or splatters that come out of the bowl. It also allows you to maximize the um, amount of food that you're putting in the work bowl and we also give you measure markings that show on the side um, how much um, food and liquid that you can put in there. So that's really convenient. To take it off the bowl, you just twist it and lift it off. And to put it back inside, you just engage it. So let me show you how to put a few of the parts in. So first I'm gonna show you um, the large chopping blade that you just put in, press it down like so, so it locks into place. That does not need any type of stem adapter. The next item is the stem adapter. You put that in like so. And if you're going to use your shredding disc, just put it right on top. And then obviously you put the lid back on. If you want to reverse it, you just turn it over. And the same thing. Always hold it by the edge of that um, little hub, what we call the hub. To engage your slicing disc, it's exactly the same um, method. You hold it by the hub, put it on until it engages. So. Let me show you 
when you're using your small work bowl, you're going to leave your stem adapter in and you're going to put the bowl in lining it up with there's some notches in there. You can easily see that when it's up close. And then you just put your little chopping blade in and then you would put the lid on and you could then use your, um, I didn't get it on properly. Sorry. You press this down to lock it into place and then twist the lid to uh, make sure that the mechanism is completely locked and usable. And then you could just use, um, press on the low button or the high button to chop. Or if you turn it on all the way, actually you can, it'll just run automatically. So that small work bowl is four and a half cups and it's really great for small tasks if you wanna just chop up some nuts or some onions or some herbs. And then, um, you could also use a multi-step recipe. So if you need to like say, chop up some nuts and then set this aside to use it um, you, you know, for an ingredient afterwards, like if you're gonna make cookies or brownies or something, you can then mix the rest of your ingredients in here. And then what you can do is um, put the nuts back in if you like, or you could do completely two separate recipes. So the next thing I want to show you, oh, is the dough blade and the dough blade goes in just by dropping it in the large work bowl that only works with the large work bowl. And um, one thing I didn't mention is you can also use the flat cover. So a flat cover is really great. I love a flat cover because if you're only doing something that requires mixing, pureeing, or incorporating, you um, just use your flat cover. You don't have to use your cover with your feed tube and it's nice and compact and um, really simple and easy to clean up afterwards. And your flat cover also has a removable receptacle so that you can add any kind of liquid in there if you're mixing something that requires adding liquid while the food processor is running. So that's the flat cover. Just lay that on there. Now what I'm going to do is show you, put the chopping blade back where it belongs. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how to use um, how to put the dicing kit in the food processor. So what we're gonna do is the first thing we're gonna do is put the stem in. And we're gonna put the dicing grid in the front facing the handle. You just put that in like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to put in these, the slicing mechanism. And then what you're gonna do is just put the lid on. And then you can dice things like fruits, tomatoes. Um, you can make a beautiful fruit salad. There's lots of great things that you can dice. You could even dice like potatoes if you wanna make hash browns, if you didn't wanna shred them. So in a little bit, I am um, going to show you now how to make, I'm gonna take this apart. Put this back over here. And then what I'm going to do is we are going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make um, a beautiful vinaigrette. You need a chopping blade. And all we need to do is we can put the flat cover on or the, the feed tube. I'm going to use the feed tube today. Okay, and we're going to start by doing something really simple, like um, we're just going to turn the machine on. You put it on high. And you saw how quickly it chopped up that garlic really beautifully, nice and fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the rest of our ingredients to make the Caesar dressing. So first we have um, anchovies. Just I also forgot to mention that your food processor comes with this really nice spatula. We have two egg yolks. Um, mustard. We have some lime juice. Mr. Shear sauce. Pepper. And then some vinegar. So I'm going to show you a little trick with your small feed tube. So put the lid back on and we're going to um, uh, 
basically incorporate all these ingredients. Now I'm just gonna stop, you just, you notice how it splashed quite a bit, but we had no leakage or anything because we have our nice seal tight advantage system. I'm just gonna um, just uh, scrape down the sides. It's a good habit to get into just so you make sure that all the bits that were, um, you know, basically mixed around when you um, ran the machine will be back down to the bottom of the bowl before you go to the next step. Now something I did forget to mention is the bottom of your feed tube has a little hole in it, and we're going to use that today to um, incorporate the oil into the dressing. And that's a really important feature because um, to get a really great consistency with any type of vinaigrette, you want to incorporate the oil very slowly into the mixture. So I'm just going to turn this on and then pour this into the feed tube so I'll show you how it actually is going to go into the processor. Going to turn the unit off. Just want to make sure that that's locked into place. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress my salad. Now this happens to be um, a mixture of different greens. It doesn't happen to be romaine today, but it, you could use it for that. And I just want to show you something else too. This is a really nice um, function is that you can just pour the dressing right over the salad, right out of the bowl. And you notice the blade stays locked in place, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it spilling out or, you know, holding on to it. So that's a really great feature. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to nice little trick I'll show you is that um, to get all the last little bits out of your food processor, you just turn it on again. And what happens is anything that was on the blade or under the blade, now that the mixture has been removed, it's really, really easy to get it out. So that's a nice little trick. To so get out every last little bit of dressing. Okay. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Elemental 13 cup food processor. Everything you need to get creative in the kitchen, including a Dyson kit and storage, flat cover, small work bowl, large work bowl. You can make almost anything you want in your home kitchen for your family. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you found the video helpful, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.